Well, are you hurt, dear? I don't think so. Oh, what happened? Uncle Jimmy. Oh. Come on, old boy. Look out! Oh. You let me go, you big bully. Uncle Jimmy's hurt and so is my sister. Let me go. Oh, if I could only get loose. Drop that! The police are coming! It's Henderson! was a deliberate attempt to destroy it. There goes that car now. Come on, Henderson. Charles. Hello. Hello, Charles. Well, Charles, here we are back from Paris, and Master Bobby's with us. Oh, I'm glad to see you safe, Sir Charles. Thank you. Well, Dr. Marshall is waiting for you in the laboratory. Good, we'll go right in. I posted my man at the gate, uh, Justin Key. Fine. Come on in the lab. What are you doing here? I am. I am to see Sir James Blake. Very well, sir. We'll see what Captain Hall has to say about Take that. Take your hands off me, I say. I'm delighted you're safe, Jimmy. I was worried about you. Thank you, Doctor. While you were gone, Charles tells me this young man had some adventures. I'll tell the cockeyed world. <coughs> You'll tell what? The cockeyed world. Or an American expression. Uncle Jimmy, Jerry taught it to me. So, well, I'll have to teach Jerry a few things. Well, anyway, I have been having adventures. When Adolf sneaked back to London, I tell you... This is what you I tell you! I have never heard that. Begging your pardon, sir, but this fellow says he wants to see Sir James. This is the outrage. I have been humiliated. Sir James, Dr. Marshall, will you tell this person who I am? He is a friend. Release him. He's Baron Falinka, Constable. Beg pardon, sir, but I was told not to take any chances. You were quite right, Constable. But, Sir James, my car, it is the broker. I step in here to see if I can get the left to London. I think I can help you out. Now Bobby's found, I must be getting back to Scotland Yard. Or you might give me a lift too, Inspector. Gladly. Then I'll bid you good night, gentlemen. Good night, Sir James. Good night. Good night. Good night. I'll call you in the morning, Henderson. Right, Jimmy. Uh, 
I think so too, Jimmy. That's the best I can do for memory, Uncle Jimmy. I see. Well, I know the general location, but your map is rather vague. I wish I knew the exact house you followed Adolf into. Maybe I'd know it if I saw it, but I don't believe I could take you to it, Uncle Jimmy. And in the closet of that house, there is a coat and vest. And in the pocket of that vest, our radium tube is hidden in a pencil. <laughs> That's a funny situation. I did the best I could, Uncle Jimmy. Why, of course you did, Bobby. I'm very proud of you. I want you to do one more thing for me. Certainly, Uncle Jimmy. What is it? These spies are getting their information in some way that I don't quite understand, as yet. And I want you to promise me that you'll keep this to yourself. Will you? Of course I will, Uncle Jimmy. That's a good lad. Now get some sleep. Good night, Bobby. Good night, Uncle Jimmy. James Blake speaking at Manor Hall. Put me through to inspectors in the Scotland Yard. Yes. Urgent. Call me back. Jimmy. Yes. Now listen carefully. I want you to do something for me. Well, that's very irregular, Jimmy. But it might be worth it. At the bend in the road in two hours' time. Right. Goodbye. Those two prisoners in the Blake case revolt. We're taking them to Mallow Hall for questioning. Have them brought up right away. Yes, Inspector. And order a car. We're leaving here in, uh, in just one hour. Right, sir. No, it wouldn't be there anymore. Blake has the radium tube by now. Or if he hasn't, the boy knows where it is. He stole it. You want us to? No. I want you to leave this job to me. I'll recover the tube without your bungling help. Hold yourself ready for a call. Wrong, Inspector? I don't know. I'll have a look. Give me a hand, will you? What do you make of it? I couldn't rightly say, sir. But from the way the motor choked up, I suspect the carburetor's out of adjustment. Well, we'll see about that. Give them another shot to speed them on their way. going to lead Blake right where he wants to go. Now, 
Now you keep quiet and let me handle this. Yes, gentlemen. Our car broke down a few miles back. We were on our way to London. Could you give us a lift? Oh, that I can. Off right in, gentlemen. Make yourselves comfortable. I like a bit of company driving at night. <laughs> There you are, sir. That's for the trouble we put you to. Oh, it's been no trouble. It's been a pleasure, Jack. Good night. Good night, sir. Good, Good night. Ah, bless you, me 
Lord, I'm about to make a bit of an appearance. This is a copy. <laughs> oh, thank you, me Lord. I'll pray for you every night on the bed. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, me Lord. And thank you too, me Lord.